Good morning from Disturbia. It's still dark outside, but I'm sure it's shaping up to be another dull, dingy, dirty, and very disgraceful day here in Disturbia on the 5th of October. John chapter 5. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is a Jerusalem by the sheep market, a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. It's the moving of the water that is healing. It's the moving of the air that revives and refreshes. That is why Satan and his minions paralyze the atmosphere with electricity and gas. No movement of the air. Mercury is soaking it all up. Mercury is another name for Hermes. Hermes is the messenger. A messenger is an angel, but this messenger, Hermes, Satan, is a fallen angel. For an angel went down at a certain season unto the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity thirty-eight years. <clears throat> Excuse me. When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had now been a long time in that case, he saith unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man. When the water is troubled to put me into the pool, but while I am coming, another steppeth down before me. Jesus saith unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole, and took up his bed, and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. The Jews therefore said unto him, that was cured, It is the Sabbath day. It is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. He answered them, He that made me whole... The same said unto me, Take up thy bed and walk. Then they asked him, What man is that which said unto thee, Take up thy bed and walk? And he that was healed wist not who it was, for Jesus had conveyed himself away, a multitude being in that place. Afterward Jesus findeth him in the temple and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more lest a worse thing come unto thee. The man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus which had made him whole. This is the end of part one of chapter five of Truth According to John.